Another synthetic opioid first developed in the 50s is falling back into the hands of Americans now. It is 40 times more powerful than fentanyl. From Pennsylvania to Tennessee, public health authorities are warning that nitazine overdoses are raising concerns in their home states. <laughs> Every 10 hours, someone in North America dies from an opiate overdose, a stark reality that spans from Vancouver to Vermont. Today, we're delving into an urgent and emerging element of this crisis, the rise of nitazines. This synthetic opioid, which is up to 40 times more potent than fentanyl itself, is reshaping the landscape of our fight against the opioid epidemic, introducing new complexities to the strategies we need to deploy. Let's explore the impact of nitazines and discuss what can be done to mitigate this growing threat. In addressing the formidable challenges posed by nitazines, it's notable that one of its street names is Frankenstein. The street name is actually Frankenstein, a little easier to pronounce. This label aptly captures the frightening and potent nature of nitazines. While it's true, nitazines are emerging, but that's not to say that they are some new analog that's been developed in some clandestine lab. They were actually developed by Swiss researchers in the 1950s as part of their research into synthetic opioids, aiming to find more effective pain relief. Well, they sure did deliver because the potency of these was just completely off the charts. However, due to their high potency and associated safety concerns, they were never approved for medical or veterinarian use. This decision not to market them was based on their potential for extreme potency and the risks that could outweigh their therapeutic benefits. Despite never being commercialized, the formulations of these compounds were not destroyed. Over the decades, various nitazine compounds have resurfaced, especially noted in recent years with the illicit drug market. These substances have been detected in several parts of North America and Europe, often found in mixtures which increases their risk and complicates the challenges faced by health and law enforcement agencies. You test a sample bag of heroin and it has like a little bit of heroin, a little bit of fentanyl, metanidazine, cocaine, a little bit of sedatives, a little bit of crushed pharmaceuticals. Their continued existence and sporadic reemergence of nitazines highlights the complex landscape of synthetic opioids, where new and old substances periodically appear on the black market. This backdrop emphasizes the ongoing need for vigilant monitoring of the drug supply and informed responses to the challenges posed by nitazines. Their history underscores a pattern of reemergence that requires continuous research and policy efforts to mitigate their impact on public health. As overdose deaths have soared across North America, the drug's silent spread through our streets underscores the urgency for awareness and action, demanding a coordinated response from both public health officials and the community at large. Look, opioids, when prescribed and monitored by healthcare professionals, play a vital role in not only managing pain, but withdrawal for people with substance use disorders. However, our focus today is on the black market product nitazines. Unlike medically approved opiates, nitazines offer no therapeutic benefit and carry an even higher risk for dependency and lethal side effects. When opioids activate the MU receptors in our nervous system, they effectively can mask pain, but if misused, they can depress breathing and heart rate, leading to potentially life-threatening situations. This risk escalates when combined with other central nervous system depressants like alcohol and benzodiazepines. The concern with nitazine, clandestinely sold and consumed without users' knowledge whatsoever, lies in its inclusion in these dangerous mixes. Central nervous system depressants slow down brain activity, which can help to treat anxiety and sleep disorders, but can also lead to severe respiratory depression when combined with other opioids. Common depressants include alcohol, benzodiazepines, like Xanax and Valium, barbiturates, and even over-the-counter muscle relaxants. You think that I'm on heroin. This is your version of a tox screen. This is what I am on heroin. I can't drink that without risking another bout of not breathing. All of which can dangerously enhance the effects of opioids. The interaction between these substances can significantly increase the risk of life-threatening conditions such as deep sedation or profound respiratory depression, leading to fatal outcomes. In the labyrinth of the underground market, any false sense of security among users is as dangerous as the drugs themselves. Every dose taken is a gamble with the unseen stakes, as new compounds like nitazines blur the lines of predictability and safety. The drug supply is an ever-evolving beast, one that adapts and transforms faster than the laws can follow.
It's an arena where the unexpected becomes the norm, challenging first responders and addiction specialists who grapple with this unpredictability. Amidst the turbulence brought by an ever-evolving drug supply, the path to effective harm reduction becomes an increasingly complex one. The drug market is rife with a range of unpredictable contaminants such as benzodiazepines, azilazine, nidazines, fluorofentanyl, and carfentanyl, each presenting unique challenges with their toxic profiles and propensity for adulteration. These substances capitulating the crisis into daunting new realms underlining the critical need for robust harm reduction strategies. As we navigate this chaotic landscape, the efficacy of naloxone, once hailed as this universal antidote, is now under rigorous scrutiny. Traditionally effective against opioids like fentanyl, its reliability diminishes against the emerging cocktail of potent threats. This evolving scenario demands a recalibration of overdose intervention protocols, necessitating higher doses of naloxone, and exploring alternative therapies to address the complexities introduced by the diverse drug mixtures found in today's illicit market. Facing such a diverse array of potent substances demands a robust and multifaceted response. The complexity of the crisis underscores the urgent need for expanded research, enhanced treatment protocols, and comprehensive educational strategies to equip responders and communities to manage and mitigate the multifarious dangers presented by the modern illicit drug landscape. For those in the field of addiction medicine, it's an ongoing mission to demystify these new threats and equip communities with the knowledge to safeguard against them. Our response is not just medical, it's also educational, societal, and deeply human. The illicit drug landscape is morphing, and with it, the tools we've relied on are also being tested. Nitazine is a name that's echoing in the alleys of the opioid crisis, is providing to be a formidable foe. Unlike its predecessors, this class of synthetic opioid can weaken the shield naloxone once provided. Where two vials of this antidote once could stand against an overdose, we now find ourselves reaching for four. Combating a threat that lingers longer and strikes harder than we have known before. This shift isn't just a matter of quantity, it's a change in the very fabric of the response to the overdose emergencies. It's a wake-up call to the resilience and the adaptability of our healthcare system. Navigating the complex terrain of opiate overdoses now includes confronting nidazines, which has introduced a daunting challenge and increased incidence of cardiac arrest. It's a complication that can occur even when an overdose seemingly has already been reversed suggesting that nitazines are dangers that lurk beyond the immediate crisis. The sad reality, we don't have any actual data to help our clinicians navigate these paths. For medical responders, this adds a layer of urgency to an already pressing situation. The stakes are higher and the outcomes more uncertain, signaling a need for both quick interventions and cautious long-term monitoring after a nitazine overdose. This information is not only a call to action, but a beacon guiding us to a deeper understanding and response to the multifaceted nature of substance-induced medical emergencies. We stand amid an ever-shifting battleground in the fight against opioids, now facing a new shadow, nitazines. These drugs emerge cloaked in obscurity, bypassing standard detection, and escalating the risk of addiction and overdose. Most urine drug screens don't even capture nitazines. I know a 130% way to pass a drug test. Just as we begin to confront the horrors of fentanyl and the gruesome wounds inflicted by azilazine, nitazine introduces another layer of complexity. In our pursuit to dismantle this threat, the answer to this crisis isn't found in a single solution, but through a mosaic of strategies, relentless education, innovative harm reduction, and comprehensive addiction support. It's a call to refine our detection capabilities and embrace the nuances of individual struggles with addiction. The path to addressing the opioid crisis is not linear, nor is it clear. But with each step, we learn and adapt. The continual emergence of new synthetic analogs creates a complex challenge that requires a diverse set of tools, prevention, treatment, and the unwavering compassion. Our response must be as dynamic as the challenges we face. Together, we strive to weaken the hold of addiction and make recovery a realistic possibility for everyone. Thank you. Thank you.